Hey girl. Hey Libra, how are you guys doing? So let's just jump into your reading to see what we have coming for the coming week. Oh, cards are just flying all over the place. It's already gonna be a spicy week apparently. This is going to be a general reading. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Simply Valka. I am going to be doing a general reading for Libras. And so keep in mind that the reading may not resonate with you. Certain cards may resonate with you. Uh, that's totally normal. So let's just jump into this, right? I don't know why I have the cards flipped upside down, but let's flip them up right now. <laughs> okay, right now I will know which ones are needing to be uh, inverted or not. So our first spread here that we have, we have the Five of Cups Libra as well as the Eight of Cups. So definitely going to be an emotional time. And then we have the, uh, what is this? We have the Seven, is this the Seven? Can I count? Seven of Cups, yeah, this is the Seven of Cups. So right off the bat, you guys, this is showing to me when you have the Five of Cups with the Seven of Cups, you're definitely walking away from something. But I feel like this is Spirit's way of giving like affirmation, right? We have the Five of Cups where it's like a, maybe it was kind of hesitant, maybe you were hesitant on this, you weren't sure about this kind of thing. I feel like this has already happened. Like you're in the process of working through these emotions. And I feel like this is more so affirmation from Spirit to be confident in this decision of walking away. Because you look in this card, in the Five of Cups card, and there was some blood that was spilt, right? And, you know, you're kind of like focusing on that. It sucks, right? It sucks to have to let go of people or to let go of a situation, let go of a job. And so when you have this, this is telling me that Spirit's asking you to be like, this is affirmation. Like, yeah, this, this sucks right now. This pain sucks. But uh, let's like look forward to the future. Right? There's something in the future to look forward to because you look at the Eight of Cups, you're walking away and I, yeah, this is something that's like, you probably put a lot of your, you thought this was going to happen, right? This is what I'm getting. You thought something was going to happen in a certain way or you thought something was going to pan out in a certain way, didn't, you had a game plan and that game plan didn't go into fruition, right? And so now you're realizing that you have to walk away from it. You're like, oh, wait, I have to like put my energy somewhere else. I have to put my energy into some someone else, something else, right? Whatever you're having to redirect your energy into. But Spirit's asking you to be at peace with it, right? Because you look at this and she's smiling, right? There's some confidence there. I feel like this is just Spirit's being like, no, like your story gets better. And when you have the seven of coins here, it's like your story definitely does get better. I feel like this is Spirit really, Libra, trying to get you in the mindset of wanting you to focus on your creation right now. Queen of Wands. Yeah, okay, yeah. Queen of Wands in the world, so... Definitely clarification for this row. We have the Queen of Wands and the World card. So yeah, the Queen of Wands this is just kind of to me asking for you to focus on your passion right now. Focus on your passion. Focus on um, really what's going to be like the long term. I feel like when you have like the World card, it's pot. It's a positive card overall. But when you keep in mind with this, like I feel like it's just paired with the Seven of Coins in that your world is going to be created by focusing on like your passion projects rather than focusing your energy on something that just isn't working out. Stop trying to make something work is what I keep hearing. Stop trying to make something work when you already kind of know the story of it. There's no need to be hopeful about something. <laughs> like, even if it sounds good, right? Because this, the, the, <laughs> the Eight of Cups like these cups are filled, right? There's nothing wrong with these cups. It's just you, deep down you may realize this is just not for you. This is you. This may not be for you right now, right? Maybe at a later point, it'll make sense for you. Maybe at a later point, you'll be able to connect with it. But right now, I feel like this is just, yeah. This is definitely, I feel like this is a temporary thing. Maybe this is like a time for you guys to temporarily, instead of trying to make something work, that like in trying to dabble into something new this is like the time to really focus in on the business side of things focusing in on building that strong foundation for yourself because you can celebrate later right the three of cups came forward as well you can celebrate later so it's like don't worry you know these cups are filled these cups are going to stay filled when you as you walk away and when you come back they're going to stay filled right this five of cups like you have the option of going back 
And so when Spirit's showing us this Three of Cups card, this is Spirit saying, it's like, this is not permanent. You know, this is just not right now. Right now you need to focus on your passions because your passions is what's going to help create this world for yourself of where you would be able to celebrate the Three of Cups passion with like with a certain individual or um, being able to put energy into like a different project into this project that you're having to walk away from right now right it's definitely like you, you have the right mind for it necessarily you're not necessarily wrong it may just be a little bit too soon um so i'm going to shuffle for some uh, moon oracle cards as well for this row but taking in our second row we have the star card which is actually inverted um, yeah, so the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. I feel like this is definitely like a, you guys have been distracted by something recently. It's been more of a distraction of being like, oh, that would be nice. Like y'all have been wanting to take a break from like constantly like with your hard work and maybe like enjoy yourself a little bit. So you've been trying to find a way to spoil yourself or you've been trying to take a break from working and connecting with people perhaps. This is like a spirit's like, no, keep on working on your crops right now because your hard work is paying off, right? So we're gonna close off that row here and let's go to our second row of messages. So we have the star card, which I said was inverted. And I feel like this is the energy of what we're going through right now. The uh, five of swords. So we have the star card inverted and then we have the five of swords as well as the 10 of coins. So yeah, this is definitely what I'm getting, you guys. We're definitely walking away from something. You're definitely walking away from something and accepting that this is not worth your energy. It's not worth your energy and you're focusing on your finances. You're having such a, like, it's like Spirit's trying to give such an affirmation in terms of your abundance, in terms of like your career in some sort, that it's Spirit's really saying, it's just like, no, like this is a good time for manifesting right now. This is not the time to try to spread yourself and trying to spread your energy too thin right now. It's really what I'm getting from this. So let's look at our clarifiers for this. We have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Discs, and then the Five of Wands. <sighs> yeah, you guys, this is just, I i feel like this is almost repetitive at this point where uh, we have the Five of Wands where it's kind of showing to me with the Five of Cups as well. Maybe like, I feel like there's just like a, people have been investing energy into like a person or like a involving like drama of some sort or a situation some sort of person that you've been investing your energy into right now that's been taking that's been distracting you or some type of emotional situation and that's been taking away from your focus on your money a little bit because it just keeps going back to the court like we talk about like there's a theme for this reading um you guys where it's like we talk about like some type of emotional conflict or some emotional upset and then it goes like after that then it goes back to your finances it's like every single time it's like we address like this heavy energy but then it's just like but your finances are going to be thriving because that's what i what we keep on getting with this right the wolverine card you're a lot tougher than you think you are so yeah it's just like with the star card being inverted you guys this is like a i feel like you guys are feeling a little bit disappointed a little bit frustrated so it's like a you feel frustrated because you're trying to skip ahead in a chapter is what i'm hearing you know it's like maybe like um <clears throat> if you're trying to do like a some like trying to make something work that just is like a meant for another chapter in your life maybe a little bit later down the road you're trying to do it now and it's just like no like there's this process to this before we go to chapter eight let's uh do chapter six and seven first does that make sense so take that as you will for however that correlates in your life. Um, and then let's go on to our last row, Libras. We have the King of Coins, the Two of Swords, and then the Six of Wands. So to me, I'm going to show the cards as well. The King of Coins, this is what I feel as if the goal is or the focus of the energy that you want to embody is the king of coins of where you're focusing on your finances right you're focusing on your crops you're making deals right because as i associate the ten of coins is where you're like either coming to a completion with something where it's just like you've been working so hard on something and it comes into a completion where it finally is fruitful or you know i just it's a good finance card to me and like i want to also remind you guys right we have the we pulled these seven of coins where it's just like harvesting your crops and like taking care of your crops knowing investing in the proper things we also have the seven of coins pop up in the necronomicon as well so it's just like the career is being extra present 
you guys. So when you have the King of Coins, I feel like this is just, yeah, this is a time for you guys to focus on making your money. This is a time to really, yeah, just focus on your, focus on your own abundance and everything else will play out. Anything extra will come as it needs. Just don't try to skip ahead. Patience right now is what I'm really hearing. Patience. Two of swords. You look at this person, this person's practicing patience. This person is having eyes closed, trusting in the process, but he's at peace with himself. And this, yeah, with the six of wands, this is showing to me that it's like, this is temporary. So it's like right now, just put this back on the back burner. Don't try to, don't try to carry too much on your plate right now. Focus, keep, like, I just feel like, focus, focus, focus. That's the thing, that's the thing that I want you guys to really remember, Libra, is to just truly focus right now. Focus on your finances, right? We have the three of discs for clarification, as well as the eight of discs, as well as the four of discs, you guys. Like, this is just such an emphasis on focusing <laughs> on your finances. Like, I can't really make this up. Like, it's such a direct push in terms of, like, a... It's almost as if like, because you guys have been so obsessed with the situation, everything else has kind of like suffered for it. And when I say everything else, like stuff that you've been working on for a long time now, stuff that um, really would be able to set you up for the future. Maybe, you, you know, like, because I can't help but keep on referencing the moon card now, the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. I feel like you guys have been going through, a, I mean, you've been working hard on something and Maybe your your uh, drive is waning a little bit, perhaps, and this is spirit really trying to motivate you, re-motivate you, and be like, no, your crops are almost ready. You know, just keep on going, keep on going a little bit more. Have some patience, focus your energy on this, and then later on we can look, uh, look at celebrating and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Libra, that is all uh, messages that I have for you guys. I really hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, let me know in the comments below how it was helpful, which card resonated with you. And if it did uh, did give you some guidance and was helpful to you, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, Libras, bye.